Okie dokie. We have made pie chart, a frequency bar chart, a frequency Pareto chart, a side-by-side -side relative frequency bar graph. All good. We've got all of our axes labeled. We've got all of our graphs labeled. Everything's pretty. Um, we colored all our bars where appropriate. If you really wanted to, you could try to work with colored bars here, but honestly, it's more appropriate to leave them as two-toned because you want to try to show the differences between the packages. Right. What you could do, if you don't like the red and blue, you could click on it and you can go to design. There it is. You can make them gray and black. You can make them red and red, green and green, <laughs> whatever, whatever makes you happy. Um, I particularly like the multicolored that's kind of standard load. But, you know, if you want to muck around with, hey, look, a black background, you can do that. Right. Nobody's stopping you. All right, we've got all our graphs. We've saved it. I'm gonna save it again. Always gotta save, keep saving. All right, now we gotta go back to the instructions. I think most of the next section I'm actually not gonna be making videos for. You are going to figure it out yourself, but I'm gonna help you out just a little bit here. We're gonna create a new worksheet tab in our Excel file enabled analysis. So let me just show you that. Oops, I gotta move my recording device over here. There we go. All right, so you click on the next tab, it's sheet two, I'm gonna double click. I'm going to label it analysis. And while I'm on the subject, you actually don't need the rest of these tabs. You can right click, delete. Right click, delete. Right click, delete. You only need two tabs, analysis and data and graphs. All right, so in the analysis tab, we are going to type in the following questions and answer each in complete sentences. And by typing the following questions, I am going to totally copy and paste and see what happens. All right, let's see if this works. Ugh. Well, it sort of worked. Hold on one second. Well, actually, I'm not going to hold on. Y you can see it's sort of working, but it's making things. Ah, there we go. So what happened was when you when I first copied and pasted it in, it was kind of a pain. But as I kept going, I'm making my columns wider and, and I'm making my rows skinnier. Right, so that it's all sort of fitting in. Double clicking. I'm doing that double sided arrow thing for both columns and rows. I mean, the other option for you is to sit there and type one state and compare the mode color for each of your packages. Enter. Too, you know, and then so on. Now, the thing that you want to keep in mind is that you want to make it easy for your instructor to figure out what the questions were and what your answers are. So it's not a bad idea to bold the questions, if you will, and then have the answer for those questions in cells nearby. So state and compare the mode color for each of your packages. So you'd say, okay, for package one, the mode was whatever, and for package two, the mode was whatever. And always remember that you can kind of widen your um, lovely columns in order to fit how big you're writing. Right? Another option for you would be to do the insert text box thing. So if you wanted to, but honestly, this worked out really well just to have them sitting right here. And there we go. So this worked out super, super well. I'm very pleased. All right, one other thing to keep in mind is that if there's any calculations to do in any of these, you could always use like, you know, equals 25 divided by 300, enter. You can make Excel do simple division and stuff like that for you. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you're answering some of these questions down here. Always remember that you want to make it really simple for the instructor to figure out what you were writing and figure out what you were saying the answers were. You've got all these cells to work with for typing your answers and making it simple and straightforward. Okay. It wouldn't even hurt if you wanted to say insert number one. And that way you know, okay, that's the answer, their answer for number one. Heck, you could even color them. Like answer for number one, you could, you could make it so that like all of these are yellow. <laughs> Here, I'll do it. Yellow, so those are yellow, and then those ones are white, and then these ones are yellow, and it makes it really obvious to your instructor. Okay, these are the answers for question two. These are the answers for question three. These are the answers for questions four, and so on.